Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting coding interview question video. This time guys, we are going to solve question number 938, range sum of binary search tree. Before I start with the video guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos. Let's get started with the problem statement now. So basically guys, we are given a root of a binary search tree and we are given two integers. Uh, low and high which basically forms a range and we want to find out the sum of all the values of the nodes in that binary search tree whose value fall in that inclusive range so by inclusive i mean they could be equal to the value low and high they could be either equal to low or high and they could also fall in between so in the first example guys you can see that the value uh, uh, of the root tree is 10 5 15 and the low and high value are 7 and 15. So basically there are three nodes which fall under this inclusive range 7, 10 and uh, 15. So we are just adding all the and the output comes out to be 32. In another example guys you can see the same thing. The range is uh, 6 and uh, 10 and there are nodes 6, 10 and 7 in that range. So we are just summing them up and giving the result. Constraints are that the number of nodes in the tree is in the range from 1 to 2 into 10 to the power 4. Value range is from 1 to 10 to the power 5. The low and high range are also the same. And all the node values are unique. Okay. So guys, now that we know about the problem statement, let's get started with the solution. So uh, the solution approach for this particular uh, problem statement is going to be a simple uh, depth first uh, traversal guys so what we are going to do we are going to traverse this entire subtree uh, through its depth and find out if any node is uh, uh, you know between the range of high and low and if that node is between that range then we are simply going to increment the sum value okay so increment the sum value and finally we just return the sum so that is the solution approach guys and I hope it's pretty straightforward to understand. Now let's start to implement that in code. So first thing is that if you want to actually increment the sum value, we have to declare a sum value, right? So here I'll just declare an integer sum equals to 0. And uh, because we are going to use a depth first reversal, we can simply uh, do it via recursion. So I'm going to use the given function range sum BST as a recursive function. And the first uh, condition in a recursive function is a base condition. And my base condition is if the root value is equal equals to null. If the root value is equal equals to null, I'm just simply going to return the sum value because that might mean that we have reached the end of the tree or there is basically uh, no node left. Now, if we don't return from the base condition, we will simply check if the root value lies between the value low and high. So if root value is greater than or equal to low. And, and root dot val is less than or equal to high. If this thing is true. Then we are just going to increment the sum. So sum becomes equal to sum plus root dot val. So once we have incremented uh, the sum with the root value, we simply go in the root left and right subtree to further increment the sum. So I'm just going to call the range sum BST function, this time with root dot left. And uh, the next statement will be to call this with root dot right, low and high. And finally, when the entire recursion is complete, it's a, just simply return sum and this sum will have the sum of all the binary search tree nodes falling in the range. So I'm running, running this code just to see if this works with the, the example and it works. So now let's just submit this code. And uh, there you go guys, you can see that the submission works. Now if I talk about the time complexity guys, then the time complexity for this solution is uh, going to be order of n. Because we are going through all the nodes inside the binary search tree. And the space complexity is going to be uh, order of 1 because we are not using any extra space. Here also I am considering that the recursion stack doesn't take any extra space. Okay. 
so that was the solution for this problem statement guys i hope you guys like this solution and your coding practice became a little bit better if you have guys then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends if you have uh, any different solution to the same problem then please feel free to post that in the comment section below and i am uh, sure that other people will benefit from it and also if you have any feedback please write down in the comment section below as well if you are not yet subscribed then please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications i make here videos every day from monday to friday so i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care and bye bye